yeah ghanians ghana new base steve Pollock, seals asante kotoko over compensations old now um victims of the accident which involved the team bus of the porcupine warriors with a truck at Koko last year have made their voices heard with complaints about the football club denying them remunerations and compensations now um, according to mr george steven Pollack, an ex asante kotoko head coach he implied that he won't delay to prosecute his ex representatives if remunerations due him and the mishap casualties are not settled on time he says it's exceptionally frustrating that one year after the lethal mishap which prompted the demise of the club's gear officer the casualties have not gotten their hands due them talking on a local radio station the fa cup victor said we the mischance casualties have had nothing at all and it's extremely frustrating we have sent two or three letters and they answered the first yet neglected to address the second i've heard gossip tidbits and that there is a high individual in the club who said they don't have anything to pay us and that is exceptionally disregarding he said he proceeded by saying we could have all kicked the bucket and you are revealing to me we will get no remuneration i had a terrible involvement with my little girl since she read on the web i'm dead and nobody could comfort her until the point where she heard my voice i could have passed on due to the club on the off chance that we find no solutions nor hear anything from them we need to go to the subsequent stage which is the lawful part firms and organizations must ensure their workers or advice for them to be ensured to have some sort of financial security in case any accident hits them now um, it's quite sad that he will have to take them to court before they pay the money it's really quite unfortunate this accident happened and uh, a lot of people were worried some scared some thought that was the end of the football team it was a very grievous accident and the images that surfaced on the net surprised us all you must know that sante kotoko is one of the greatest football clubs in the country who have time on won several awards and several games due to their consistency and their unique method of play uh when the accident occurred a lot of people sent out their warmest regards consolations and um affections to the victims comes as a surprise that up to now there has nothing been done to you know compensate these people who have lost or suffered injury now asante kotoko is a very big football club which we all know is endowed with money I don't think this is a big issue for them to really take over to court 
just give these guys their monies or whatever remunerations they deserve and let's let this issue come to a rest i find it hard to believe that nothing has been done about these victims who could have lost their lives also we have to come to a point where we do what is right in this nation to move the country forward uh, Steve Pollack seemed very unhappy and he issued uh, an interview and then um, also expressed other things we could not really put out. Now, um, putting myself in his shoes... I don't know how I would have reacted if I was the one involved in that accident. And up to now, nothing has been done for me. I have paid for my bills. I have seen to myself. I've taken care of my medical prescriptions and all that. And up to now, the football team that I'm working very hard for has not yet done anything anything at all to make me feel like I belong sometimes we overlook certain things as individuals and later we regret the consequences in this country sometimes news that comes out could have been prevented if things were done the right way. I mean, Steve Pollack is obviously a member of the Kotoko Club, but his origins are not from Ghana. So you should see the need for him to fight for his cause and for what owes him, or for what is owed to him. The other players who are Ghanaians, are sort of laid back because they are used to this type of treatment. Remember, these are the people who put an effort into the game. These are the people who keep us happy by making sure they do their duties and all working as a body, as a unit to be able to come out as a football team entertain us and make us all happy how many of us would survive such accidents how many of us would be able to take care of ourselves after such an accident knowing very well that these guys wouldn't have been in that accident if they were not on the bus I think it's only right that we, we, we compensate them. Come on. I believe Asante Kotoko is bigger than this. And that they can put in all their... Not even all, just a little bit of... Uh, one or two things together. To make sure that these people get what is right. Remember? We could have wasted much more. If they were dead, we should give the glory to the Most High and be grateful that they are still alive to be able to contribute their quota to being a team, entertaining the supporters and making Ghana proud as a whole. Steve Pollack is not the first person who has been through such a situation. And we'd want him to be the last. It's not fair that such things will continue happening in this country. Remember, when he was head coach, he did a lot to move the football club forward. Remember, 
he's not Ghanaian, and so he should have a good story to tell to his fellow people who are not in Ghana about the way we treat certain people and handle certain issues. Steve Pollock is one voice, but he also is the voice of many. His voice captures not only his, but also those of the players who are also involved and have not received anything as of yet. I really feel we can do something bigger than this. There is no need to drag this all the way to court. Come on. Let's have an understanding. Let's make each other happy by doing what is right. Now, the football club coach has been able to set a standard, especially when he was coach for the football club. He also expressed that after the accident had occurred, the news broke out that Dr. Kobas was involved in a serious accident. His daughter believed he was dead after hearing certain utterances from people around her. She had to suffer emotional trauma and a possible breakdown after finding out her dad was dead at such a young age. Remember, she's just a little child. What if it had affected her too? What if it had changed her life? I have heard of situations where terrible news has caused serious harm emotionally and physically and psychologically to people who hear them, especially when they are related to the victims of such accidents. Steve Pollack should be happy. Steve Pollack should not be sad. Let's make Steve Pollack happy by making sure we do what is right for him and the other players and people involved in the accident. We want to have a country where we can be able to boast about the way we handle our things and about the way we go about certain issues. We do hope all is done to put this issue at rest and make the football club happy again. I remember Santi Kotoko Okuma Pema Apem Beba. Thank you. Do subscribe and stay glued to all our news channels and websites. Ghana News Base. Thank you and have a new nice day.